Governor Cuomo, Congresswoman Stefanik, and many local leaders have voiced their support for either a statewide or even cross-border bid to host another Winter Olympics in the future. In the meantime, Lake Placid is looking at another opportunity much sooner to host athletes from around the world. Our Jack LaDuke has the story. The World University Games are the largest multi-sport event in the world, apart from the Olympics themselves. With Olympic experience behind them, Lake Placid organizers want to bring the University Games, frequently referred to as FISU, to the town after nearly 50 years. The two-time Olympic Village is no stranger to holding major winter sports events. They have hosted scores of World Cups and twice staged the Winter Olympics, once in 1932 and again in 1980. Sports Illustrated magazine crowned the 1980 Games as the sporting event of the 20th century. But can the Mountain Village repeat that accomplishment decades later? First of all, we need to make sure that the venues are at the level that they need to be, and a number of our venues are, are venue approved and sport approved, which is called homologated. So a number of our venues meet the current standards in, in the international sports world. Um, some of the infrastructure is where we need to pay some attention, but we certainly have the knowledgeable people, um, both at our venues and in the region. Um, volunteer group here, sports knowledgeable is incredible. The numbers have grown since the World University Games were held here in 1973. About 3,000 athletes would take part this time. Their support staff would bring that up to 8,000. Local volunteers for hosting the event would boost it to 30,000. But are these numbers too overwhelming for a village of about 3,000 full-time residents? I think we're a perfect size for the FISU Games. You know, it was held in a city with about a two million population this year. I see a FISU in, uh, in this region as uh, the excitement of the international teams out and about on the main street in this community. And I just think this feeling and spirit and international uh, companionship would just be unparalleled anywhere else in the world. In 1980, downtown Lake Placid was barricaded from traffic, allowing athletes and visitors to mingle and get to know each other from around the world. The action was praised universally. You heard Mr. McKenna mention the possibility that maybe Main Street could be uh, recreated as it was in 1980. You and I would remember it, uh, being old guys, that, uh, that those streets were, uh, were, were just filled with, with people and they were all uh, enjoying both the Olympic Games and also the uh, community of Lake Placid. McKenna said that the last FISU Games were held in Kazakhstan and cost about $50 million. He said that Lake Placid will need federal and state money to pull it off if awarded the bid. Past U.S. governors have been willing to invest in events in Lake Placid. They will need the same cooperation this time, McKenna said. It's really up to us to make the next move at this point. I think that uh, what we're looking at right now is possibly attending um, in, at the end of March the World Special Olympics event in Austria as an observer for that program. And then if uh, timing's right, visit with Fishu in Lausanne at that time and, and see what they really see our next steps to be. They will tell you what the steps are? Well, they've already laid out a calendar for us and we, we have to be in a position if we're gonna move forward with this program by next February, we would have to commit that we, were, we would do it. When the 1980 Winter Olympics were held here, it was said that it was the last small town Olympics to be held with a focus on the athlete. Now, the organizers of the World University Games here say they will repeat that commitment if awarded the prestigious event. For Mountain Lake Journal, I'm Jack LeDuc in Lake Placid.